Hi guys, we're gonna read a story about a cat and the cat's name is Charlie Anderson. That's a weird name for a cat, huh? I've heard of cats named Fluffy and cats named Spot. Oh wait, that's a dog's name, Spot, huh? Well, I guess it could be a cat's name because this cat in this story is named Charlie Anderson. I hope you like it. Let's see why they named it. Charlie Anderson by Barbara Acrombie, illustrated by Mark Graham. Charlie Anderson, Charlie Anderson. One cold night, a cat walked out of the woods, up the steps, across the deck, and into the house where Elizabeth and Sarah lived. He curled up next to the fireplace to get warm. He watched the six o'clock news on TV. He tasted their dinner. He tried out their beds. He decided to stay and the girls named him Charlie. And every morning Charlie disappeared into the woods again. At night when he came home, Elizabeth brushed him clean, fed him dinner, and made a space for him at the foot of her bed. He liked Elizabeth's bed the best. Sometimes she would wake up in the middle of the night to hear him purring in the dark. Sarah called him baby and dressed him up in doll clothes. And when it snowed, Elizabeth and Sarah's mom heated Charlie's milk before he went out into the woods. He grew fatter and fatter, and every day he purred louder and louder. On weekends, the girls stayed with their father and stepmother in the city. They wanted to bring Charlie with them, but their mother said he'd miss the woods. Charlie's a country cat, she told him. On one stormy night, Charlie didn't come back home. Elizabeth and Sarah stayed out on the deck and called and called his name, but no Charlie. Where was he? Why wouldn't he come out of the woods? Was he all right? All night long, Elizabeth listened to the rain beating on the roof and the wind rattling the windows. Was he cold? Was he hurt? Where was Charlie? In the morning, Elizabeth and Sarah looked for him. They asked the lady down the road if she'd seen their cat, and she said no. And they offered them cookies, but they were too worried to eat anything, even her chocolate chip cookies. They went to a new house on the other side of the woods. Have you seen our cat, they asked? His name is Charlie. He's very fat and has gray striped fur. We have a cat with gray striped fur, said the man, but his name's not Charlie, it's Anderson. He's upstairs asleep on our bed. They heard him meow and down the stairs came a very fat cat with gray striped fur. Charlie, Sarah and Elizabeth cried. No, that's Anderson, said the woman. We've had him for seven years, right Anderson? He looked at her and began to purr. But it's Charlie, Sarah said. He looked at her and he purred louder. Is he ever here at night, Elizabeth asked. Oh, Anderson's a hunter, said the man. He prowls the woods at night. Charlie sleeps in my bed at night, Elizabeth said. He leaves for the woods after breakfast. Anderson came home at breakfast time, said the woman. She, he leaves right after dinner. And they all looked at the cat, and he sat at their feet, very happy and very fat. They call him Charlie Anderson now. Sometimes in bed at night, Elizabeth asked him, who do you love, Charlie Anderson? Who do you love best? And she could hear him purring in the dark. Mm -hmm. Just like Elizabeth and Sarah, Charlie has two houses, two beds, and two families who love him. And he is a lucky cat. Oh, look at that. The end.